So in this government shutdown, we have this curious situation where certain things are declared essential and others are declared non-essential. If you watch the show, you know that I think that a government shutdown should be a real shutdown. Okay, we're shutting the whole government down. Uh, it's the purge. Good luck to you all. There's no cops. There's no military. There's no social security. There's no nothing. The government has stopped functioning. Okay, pandemonium an hour later, and believe me, the government's reopened, right? But instead, they do these hanky-panky stuff where they're like, oh, we'll close this, but we won't close that. So then that gives you a sense of their priorities. So let me read you the list of things that are in the non-essential category, and then I'll read you the things that are the House and, and Congress apparently believes is in the essential category. We must continue that in order for uh, the country to be safe. Okay. So, first of all, clinical trials at the National Institutes of Health is non-essential. Now, there's 200 people uh, that are hoping to receive new tri treatment there for cancer. Sorry, non-essential. You don't get that treatment, you might die from cancer. Non-essential. Okay? What's, what else is non-essential? Well, uh, Nobel Prize winning physicist uh, uh, David Wineland, um, he's working at the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Uh, he's doing some groundbreaking experimental uh, work. Sorry, Take your Nobel, go home, you're non-essential. Uh, cleaning up toxic waste sites. 94% uh, of the EPA has been shut down. Of course, the uh, Republicans are ecstatic about that. But understand this, 505 toxic waste site sites in 47 different states are no longer being cleaned up. Non-essential. Got a toxic waste dump next to you? Sad day for the moment being. You're going to have to live with it. It's not that essential. And then uh, the NASA employee who oversees the Mars rover mission. Now, the guys at the International Space Station, we're not going to let them die. So, yes, we still maintain their health and their safety. But the Mars rover program, half of those guys, including the guy leading the program, furloughed. Sorry, you're, up, <laughs> you're doing a project in Mars, not essential. Now, you might say, hey, listen, the government continues to operate. Maybe they have a point there. So let's take a look over at what they think are essential. And then you get a better sense of their priorities. So, the gym that members of the House of Representatives use is apparently essential. Now, Representative Earl Blumenauer is a Democrat from Oregon, uh, and he got pretty worked up about this. Now, understand the context. He loves that gym. He works out there every day. But nonetheless, he's saying, you think it's essential? Watch. It's very important. But it's not essential. You know, I had somebody argue with me yesterday that it doesn't cost that much because we pay dues. We have an access key that lets us in, and there aren't any staff members there now. Well, that's true. It doesn't cost very much, but it costs. The electricity, the hot water, the towels, they're not provided by gym fairies. They're provided by taxpayers. Some of the most fanatic about inflicting unnecessary pain on the American public our regulars enjoying our house gym while the staff gym is closed. Mr. Speaker, if you and the House Republicans are serious and not cynical about the shutdown, then shut down the house gym. Shut that gym down! <laughs> I love the extra little gratuitous thing of the staff gym, not essential. They're just the staff. The house gym for the members, please. Essential. What else? Every single member of Representative Steve King's staff. Now, why do we mention that? Representative Steve King loves the shutdown, thinks it's essential, and that the government is bloated and he's ecstatic, and that all these government workers have been furloughed. Now, they're supposed to furlough some of their own workers. He said, oh, no, 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 no. My government workers are super essential. I only want to fire other people's government workers, not my own. And then when they say, wait a minute, though, all the other staff have done really painful cuts. And we know it's painful. We know you don't want to furlough your own workers. He said, this is okay. My guys are so hardworking, they're picking up the slack for the other guys who've been furloughed. <laughs> See, they don't believe it. They're hypocrites. Steve King loves his government staff. He loves his government insurance. He loves his government contract. He hasn't given up his salary, right? They kept it all for themselves. What else is essential? Well, the capital subway system. You know what this is? This is a subway between the House and the Senate. You could walk over in about 30 seconds. They have a special underground subway for them. You don't even have to go above ground if you want. You could walk underground. 
No, oh, but that would, that might hurt their pretty little feet. So that subway is still working. There's a guy who's paid there. All these guys, the Nobel guy is sent home. The cancer treatment guys are sent home. But the guy operating the little subway so they don't have to walk, walk between the buildings, he's still there. Not furloughed, essential. Uh, of course, every single member of Congress is considered essential, which is the uh, perhaps the funniest of all. But then at the end, one more just to rub it in a little bit. The Utah National Guard wants to do recruiting, and they used to use a uh, mechanical bull. Well, their old one broke down. Well, in the midst of the government shutdown, we got to get them a new mechanical bull, and we have. We spent over $47,000 to make sure that they could keep recruiting people into the Utah National Guard, and they have a spanking new mechanical bull. Essential. By the way, the CIA, uh, after having furloughed some employees, realized that that was a disastrous idea, and they came back and said, yeah, we didn't mean it. This whole government shut down. We didn't think it was going to last this long. Of course we need those guys. Who else would spy in on you? And they're bringing them all back. This government shutdown is so optional, so absurd, that it just it means nothing. You want to shut the government down, shut it down. Then you'll know the value of government.